Okay, so in this video, we're going to wrap the vector wireframe up and by putting in the typography and the styles. So this is where kind of where, where we left off before. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select the type tool. And the first thing that we can focus on, I'll come back up here for the navigation in a minute, but for right now, the first thing that I want to focus on is this part where it says we are interior designers. So um, I think that I'm probably going to be using um, Century Gothic bold instead of regular for these headings. And I'm going to say that it's probably, I don't know, around 36 points or so. And what's really useful is I could just start typing, but I, I want you to notice something that I think is useful and important. If you want something to be centered, it's automatically going to default to doing a left justification up here in the type uh, options panel. But if you want something to be centered, go ahead and start by clicking the center justification before you actually click to start. Because if you click to start in the correct spot that's center of where you want it to be, then it is going to actually center. So if I wanted to blow this up, okay. This is the center point right here. So if I take that text tool and I click right here, it might be I need I might need to lower it, but it's basically going to be centered. And I'm going to say we are interior designers. And so what it's going to do is automatically it's going to just start typing and moving out from the center instead of me having to go back and move the move the thing. So what I'm going to do with that type layers, I'm going to just se select the move tool and use my nudge keys, my arrow keys. And for that text, I'm going to change the color of it. So I'm going to go back to my type selection tool, OK, select all of it. And I'm going to pick this dark blue out of my swatches. Um, and that's going to be stylistically one of the things that I'll do on any white background. I'll use my headings as that sort of darker blue color. And if I click off of it, that's what it will look like. Now, the other thing that I need to do is I need to put down this blurb here. And right now, it's just lorem ipsum text. It's like dummy Latin. It doesn't really say anything. And if you're not really, um, if you've never really used lorem ipsum, the point of it is that you want to put copy, text is referred to as copy in design. If you want to put copy, it's really good to put text in there that is either absolutely relative to the thing that you're designing for or that's complete just dummy text that doesn't have any meaning at all. Because um, if you put something in there that is just grabbed from something else, it actually can affect the feeling, the overall feeling of the design work. Um, if somebody actually reads it, it might sort of leave them not liking what they're looking at. So it's better to put something that has absolutely neutral value. So what I can do is instead of what, what I just did uh, just a second ago is I just clicked and started typing. The other thing that you can do with the text tool, which I'm going to do now. Oh, and by the way, I made a mistake. I want to show you something. If you look over here in the, pan the layers panel, I just started typing. I like I told you not to do, and it ended up in the contact us section. And it needs to go in the part that's for we are interior designers, or who we are, I think is what it's called. So I'm just going to keep moving it down until I get to who we are. There we go. And so now it's inside of who we are. Yeah, if I collapse it, it's gone. So it's in the who we are folder now, which is good. What I really need to do is I need to move it up above to the top so that when I turn this background on, it's still there. Now that I am actually in the correct uh, layer group, what I can do is take my text tool and instead of just clicking and starting to type, I need to cr create a, like a constraining bounding box. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to drag. You'll notice that my cursor is blinking inside already. Well, this I want to be left justified. So the cursor is now blinking off to the left. And I can start typing. The only thing is that I don't want it to be Century Gothic bold. I think that I want this to be um, just the regular. And I don't want it to be 36 points. Uh, let's just see what 18 looks like. And I could 
you know, start typing. Oh, and part of the problem too is that I don't want that color dark gray, not black. Um, we'll see how that looks. I might need to move it to black, but uh, 18 points doesn't seem quite big enough. So let's try 24. And that looks a little bit better. But instead of just typing, 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 what I think I want to do instead is, let me select all of this. I can go up to the type menu option. And if I go down here, there's a thing called paste lorem ipsum. And it allows me to just paste stuff in so I don't have to go and copy it from, you know, the internet or something. And what happens is if you paste something that's longer than the text box will allow, you'll get this little plus symbol down here that allows you to drag it open. And we don't need all of that text. In fact, the idea is for now, we're just trying to show what something looks like, you know, that only has this much text. So we can basically remove all of that and then we can put our text box back up to where it was. So now we've got that text and if I go ahead and I turn on my background down here, you see that it looks like this now. Now I can go to our team and you'll see here I've got one of the things that I did when I went forward and I made a bunch of other um, layers and is that I added all of these little boxes right here in the contact section and I created them as person one, person two, all the way through person six. And I grouped them in a folder called members, which is also inside of the our team folder. Okay, so just so you understand, that's what I did. And that was one of the ways that you could deal with it. If you didn't do it that way, you could go back and change it. So what I wanna do is um, I wanna go ahead and create the type up here. And I could just start typing again, and that would be fine. The other thing that I could do, if I wanted, <clears throat> is I could go open up who we are. There's some different choices you have here. And I'm going to duplicate the thing that says we are interior designers. I'm going to duplicate it by just dragging it down to this like new page icon. And it duplicated it, of course. But now what I can do is I can just take this and I can drag it and put it up inside of my our team group, uh, layer group. And instead, I'm gonna change the text of, as, as to what that text says. So I'm gonna go and choose my text tool, I'm gonna scroll up, and instead of we are interior designers, and just make sure that you have the correct layer selected over here, I'm going to change it to contact us. And the reason that I'm doing that is because now it's already centered. It's exactly where I want. It's the same font, same size, everything. Now I can just click it and hold shift down and I can drag it down and put it in the correct spot. Okay. So now it says contact us, but the problem is that it's blue and it's hard to read. So I'm going to change that to uh, white. So if I go up here, I can make it a pure white. So I'll just change that to all F's and it goes to pure white. And so now what we've got is something that looks like this. That looks pretty good. And the other thing that we're missing is we're missing all of the people's names. So uh, I'm going to put that inside the members folder. All right. And I'm going to put it up above each person's name. Okay. So where it says person. And actually what I can do is I can actually rename these vectors so that they match. Um, you know, that would be probably a good idea. Um, so let's start. The very first one, I don't have the person's picture yet, but let's just say that I already know what the names are going to be. So let's say that this first person is named Otto uh, Warner. Okay, so let's just go ahead and put their names in. I'm just going to make some stuff up. Uh, these are all totally made up names, by the way. Let's say that this is Elsa Mitchell. Okay, uh, let's say that this person is Susan Landry totally made up people. So if you happen to be named any of these names, I apologize. I'm not trying to freak you out here. Okay, so these are the people who work there. Now these vector, uh, these vector layers have names. Well, I've already typed out Megan Murphy's name. So let's go ahead and I'm going to copy it now so I'm not retyping it. And what I'll do is I'm going to take the text tool, make sure it's on center. And uh, 36 is probably not 
going to be the size that I want. So, well, first of all, let's let's pick regular. I don't think that I want it to be bold. And let's just try let's try 30. If this is 24 and that's 36, it might be somewhere in between. I might have to adjust it yet again. But let's just go ahead and I'm going to type right here and I'm going to hit paste. And that may or may not be the right size. Let's just kind of figure it out by, I, I, I don't want it to be uh, linear like this. I want it to be stacked. So I'm gonna have it look like that. I think that's maybe a little bit too big. So let's make it, well, let's just see what 24 looks like. Actually 24 is about the right size. I was wrong. But now if that's where we want the, the name to go, and I think that that's probably a good placement, We'll keep these two things together, Megan Murphy and Megan Murphy, and then I'm going to uh, double-click Daniel Isamora's name. I'm just going to copy it so I'm not retyping it. Um, <clears throat> but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to duplicate the Megan Murphy type by dragging a new layer. And where it says Megan Murphy copy, I'm going to drag that on top of Daniel's name and paste his name there okay so that I know that that's Daniel and then I'm gonna take this move tool and I'm gonna move it right over to, to where that would be centered also and it's actually probably not quite center the other thing that I could have done is instead of typing the entire name this is probably not a bad idea it's probably actually a better idea to do this and that is so that we know that it's dead center, we can just type the number one, okay? That might be a really good choice, all right? And then what I can do now, every time I want to uh, transfer it, move it, whatever, so now if I take Daniel's uh, name and I duplicate it, I'll put it on top of Michael Stoltz, and I'll just change this to Michael Stoltz. And then now I can move Michael Stoltz's typography over. And I know that it's going to be centered if I do it like that. Okay, so that's one way of, of trying to take care of this. All right, so I'm just going to do all of these so you don't have to sit here and watch me do them. Okay, so I copied these. Now what I would do, and I won't make you watch me do all of these again, but uh, I would go ahead and I would choose, let's say that we're going to choose Otto Warner's text. I'm going to copy his name, and I'm actually going to take the text tool, and I'm going to select that and just hit paste, and then I would do that. Okay, so I'm going to do that for all of these, and you don't have to watch me. Okay, so these names are done. And uh, you can see that they're all in the members folder right there. So I'm going to collapse that. And, and you know what? I just realized I'm so silly. The contact section is the thing I'm about to do. This is our team. Okay, so let me fix that. So if I go to where the text layer is, it says contact us. Let's actually change that to our team. You probably already caught that and thought I was crazy. But there you go. And maybe I am a little bit. Well, and because the, the coming up sections are so much like what we've already done, you know, you can just, uh, you don't have to watch me do this. I'm just going to go ahead and, again, snap my fingers, and some of it's going to be done. Okay, and so here's everything filled in, with typography. All of the stuff that I did is stuff I already showed you how to do, so you should be able to figure that out. And I went ahead and I added my menus, and I added a plus symbol here too because I thought that looked nice. Um, and uh, I added this top section. Now, the thing I don't have is this little icon, but I can show you how to make that really fast. We can do something really simple. Draw a constrained box like this that's white. We can go up here to Edit, Transform Path, Rotate, and then if I hold down my shift key, I can constrain it to a 45 degree angle. Hit OK. And then all I have to do is take my pin subtraction tool, do that. And now we sort of have like a little arrow shape. Well, let's move that. Sort of put it in here and place it where you think it looks right. And then now you've got your icon. And then you can rename it it's arrow. And I'm going to go ahead and select these make a group, and we'll call it Top Button. That's it.